I have not. Uh, damn, after all the new frames now. That's a good sign. Oh, jeez. Uh, at least I'm not dropping any frames now. That's a good sign. Uh, let's load the data. Oh, not from there. That's from me playing by myself. Were we at the hot springs? I think we were still at the hot springs, weren't we? I think we're still at the hot springs. If not, yeah, the skip, the skip button's grayed out. We were still at the hot springs. So, well, welcome back to Osco Academy, everyone. Uh, actually, I should post this on Tumblr to make sure everyone is aware. I don't know how I feel about that. That's... You know what? I can't do that while I started the stream anyway, so... My decision has been made for me. <laughs> I just watched my computer try to drop frames because I opened my phone. Poor <laughs> thing. Oh, it doesn't help. My family's probably still on the internet. Anyway. Mai just let out a panic scream that I'm not going to voice because I probably voiced it last time. <laughs> <laughs> PVG sprinted past Jared and Mai, who fell away from the door with a crash. <laughs> uh, oh, PVG, wait. Jared chased after PVG, leaving Mai and I alone. She crawled to me from across the room like some kind of demented bug. Yeah. That's not a mental image I wanted in my life. Well, what happened? What happened? What happened? Tell me. I must know. Do you like each other? Are you dating now? Is PBG your boyfriend? Oh my gosh, I can't hear anything. You guys were talking so quietly. <laughs> I beamed at him, trying to hold in a laugh. <laughs> That's a secret. <laughs> That's all? Okay. <laughs> now we're not in the hot spring anymore. Maya and I walked to class the next morning like absolute zombies. I wasn't sure if it was the blood, or the heat, or the sheer stress of it all. But neither of us wanted to talk to each other. We didn't even want to look at each other. When PBG and I came out of that room... Nah, I can't speak English. <laughs> when PBG and I came out of our room that night, we found Jared and Mai in the room across the hall, sitting four yards apart on opposite ends of the room. Uh-oh. When I asked whether they wanted to go home... Oh, it's a good reason to be far apart. <laughs> yes, definitely. They responded like that. Something was up. Something definitely had to be up. But the drive back to the academy was made in utter stony silence, outside of a few passive observation on PVG's part to try and break the tension. If Mai wasn't telling me what happened between her and Jared, that probably meant it was something bad. Really, really bad. Especially considering things seemed like they were going really well in this actual spring. I don't know, man. Judging by the art that just came up, I don't think it was a bad reason for them to be far apart. <laughs> I wasn't about to bring that up if she wasn't ready to relive it. For all I knew, she just destroyed any chances of dating the guy she'd crushed on for the past three years. Oh man, that was some intense pessimism all at once. You gotta warn a guy, Hana. <sighs> Sorry, I'm really thirsty. I forgot to bring my water up here today because I was recording audiobooks. <laughs> Knowing my, it was very possible she just wasn't simply able to conduct herself, uh, shall we say, properly in his presence. I was about to go poking my nose in her most embarrassing moment, anyway. We climbed to the third floor behind Mimi and Kakasu, who moved as though approaching their own execution. Who's ringing my phone? Oh. Streamplay, at Streamplay GFX. I don't know who you are, but thank you for liking my tweet. <laughs> We climbed to the third floor behind Mimi and Kakasu, who moved as though approaching their own execution. Of course, they took up all the space in the stairwell, so we couldn't move around them even if we wanted to. My and my own silence meant that whether we wanted to or not, we ended up eavesdropping on their conversation. So apparently the nearby hot springs are closed for the rest of the year? What? No way! I was going to join my friends on a celebratory excursion after graduating the midterm exams. 
I don't really know what happened because the staff don't want to go into it, but apparently it has something to do with the water being tainted. You don't think people were copulating in the springs? Oh my god, why do you talk like that? I'm sure that's why it is. But it must have been some kind of party if it made the springs completely shut down. Kakasu's eyes flashed. So Kakasu X Jock for best thing, right? That's best ship. Someone just texted me. Oh, it's probably dad. Dinner is ready. Can I help Mo tomorrow? Yes, I can help Mo tomorrow, Grandma. Yes! It's, it's being inspected for health violations. If they find something, they might not even be able to reopen. Oh man, I hope they catch whoever did it. It sucks that we have to suffer because someone else was an asshole. When we reached the top of the stairwell, we sped around the girls and into the classroom like we were running from a swarm of bees. As I hooked my bag on my desk, a jolly John approached me. Hey! Hana! Welcome back! How were the spr- <laughs> Don't tell anybody we were there. Sirs, don't tell anybody. <laughs> um, okay. Well, whatever you did worked. Look. He pointed across the way to PBG, who is now sitting at his desk, happily doodling. It's good. We made the PBG happy. He noticed us looking at him and waved cheerfully. I waved back. <laughs> what did you do? I never would have thought he'd recover from something like this so quickly. <laughs> oh, someone is... Mm, Someone is saying something in the group chat. <laughs> we just talked. Had a bit of a heart to heart, I guess you could say. John held up a hand. We'll say no more. Thank you. That's all I needed to know. Oh, apparently I'm going to mow my grandma's house at 10 tomorrow. Yes, 10 will definitely be fine. N B D. Oh, rip, rip cell phone data. <laughs> Works fine for me. Well, Hana, you're one special girl. Um. <laughs> I just meant thank you for looking after our boy. No problem. He's my friend after all. John snorted. <laughs> yeah, definitely friends look after each other. Yeah! Exactly! <laughs> well, you put it better than I would, John. He wandered off to a seat, still laughing like a maniac. What's up with him? He knows what happened. He knows what went down. <laughs> I turned to Maya and she shrugged, staring out the window despondently. I guess she didn't feel up to chatting either. It was so unlike her. What happened between her and Jared? Goodness gracious, now what? Oh, it's just Grandma. I'll reply to her later. Ooh. Thankfully, my thawed as the day wore on. By the time we got back to Primrose House, we were deep in discussion about volleyball strategies. Hana plays volleyball? Today I learned, I guess. <laughs> but as we approached our room, I groaned. Uh-oh. I get the sense I know what this is. Yep. It's another note. Another note was taped gleefully to the door. I ripped it off as a bear might knock down a beehive. Like, come on, bruh. Aww, what did the paper ever do to you? I glared at her as I opened the letter. Oh, love. Oh, love. Oh, love. Oh, love. She's lovely and sweet. This is awful. She captures my feelings and shines the sea. So lovely, this lovely. So pretty and nice. Oh, love is so hard and love is so... Ice. <laughs> Getting warmer and warmer and warmer until I pour too much water, but love cannot spill. For this lovely I see stares back at me with the sea. For love has the loveliest eyes I have seen. Oh! Poetry! <laughs> I stared at the paper. Eyes like the sea? <laughs> I told you they weren't for me. Did I? Did I really have a secret admirer? I never even had a boy have a crush on me. Never in my life. 
But the strangest of all, when I should have felt my absolute happiest, instead I felt an odd sense of... dread. <laughs> we headed inside our room and I glanced around, unsure of what to do with the letter. Hey, what's up? You... are you okay, Hama? Uh... I... I don't like this. Well, just put it away and forget about it, right? Whoever wrote it obviously isn't confident enough to approach you directly, and as long as that doesn't happen, you can just pretend like they don't exist. I folded up the letter and stuffed it inside my desk with his brothers. Well... I... I guess so. A letter is just a letter. It's great that you have a secret admirer, too. Who knows? Maybe it's someone you have a feeling for. <gasps> I... There's a... I don't like anybody, so it's kind of impossible. Mike glared at me. What? I'm being serious. <gasps> I know you're serious. That's exactly why I'm annoyed. She sighed and shook her head. Hmm. Poor guy's got it rough. I guess you don't pick who you fall in love with. <laughs> a secret admirer is hardly someone in love. He's probably just got a little crush. If he even is a he. I wasn't talking about... Forget it. A blush rose in my cheeks, but I ignored it. Anyway, we were in the middle of discussing your tactics, right? After all, strategy is always. <laughs> Have you tried the jack shot? I heard online that it's pretty good. It's a bit overhyped. It doesn't work as well for volleyball as you'd think. The subject safely dropped. Maya and I discussed your next game until late in the evening. Something got her more excited about volleyball than usual. That was saying something when it came to mine. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me, and I didn't care to ask. I wondered what it was. Okay. <gasps> Chapter four. <laughs> I love the like little, like bloom transition. They're great. After that whole incident, things returned to mostly to normal. I mean, mostly. No, rather than normal, it was more like things calmed down. Like a river that was no longer flooding, I guess. A few weeks passed, during which we took our first real test of the term. Thankfully, I scored out 95, high enough to keep my scholarship and provide a buffer for the rest of the year. Whew! Yasuko Strikers played their first game without PBG, and they, they managed to win. The entire school celebrated, except for PBG, who watched the game from his dorm room window. Poor thing. I wonder how he felt. In all other respects, he was back to the PBG we all knew and loved. It was the day after that game that he approached me. Oh no. Hana! <laughs> Hana! PBG! PBG, what's up? He stared at me for a few seconds, not saying anything. I cocked my head to the side. Uh, PBG? Are you there? Uh... I'm there, I, um... I was, um, wondering, uh, if, um... I nodded, trying to get him to finish his sentence. Uh, you, you will? I, I don't even know what you're talking about yet. <laughs> oh, right. Um, so there's this uh, game that's um, coming out soon, and uh, they're doing a midnight release for it. Uh, it's a really cool game! It's all about these little animals living in a village together. You can come join it and live with them. Uh, do you want to come with me? What do you do with the animals? Uh, in the game, oh, you befriend them. They go fishing and fossil hunting and there are festivals and it's great and you can decorate your house and wear different outfits too. It's so cute. <laughs> Is <this> Animal Crossing? <laughs> that sounds like something you'd be into. <laughs> I'll say, and I think you'd like it too. Plus, I I wanted to say I wanted to say thank you for what you did for me with the with the hot springs. So, what do you think? Sure, I'll just be keeping you company then. Um. Um. Yeah, I, I guess so. I was I was hoping we could like cuddle or something, but you know, I can just I guess we could just you know. He glanced away from me, looking troubled. Something wrong? Okay, cool. Great. I'll I'll pick you up tonight. Now, do you want to get to lunch? I'm sure everyone's wondering where we are. I'm sure Meyer John told them what was up. 
<laughs> PBG turned pale. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> what was up with him today? He came to pick me up right on time, as planned. When I opened the door, Mai poked her head out from the top of her bunk. Hey, what's up? Uh, going somewhere? <gasps> oh, PBG! I, uh... Uh, um, I... Mai glanced from me to him and back again. I looked away. I hadn't told her because, uh... Because, um... Well, uh, because it never came up! How can you talk about something if it doesn't come up in conversation? Mmm, have fun. You better bring her back safely or stab you with a lance made of toothpicks. <laughs> That's an interesting threat. <laughs> yes, ma'am. We stepped out into the dark night and I instantly started shivering. No! Give her your jacket. Give her your jacket. Give her your jacket. <laughs> How cold was it out here? Below freezing? I didn't bring a real jacket with me. I didn't have a heavy jacket for this kind of weather yet, sir. So there wasn't much I could do about it. Instead, I kept my mouth shut and tried to hide my shivers as we headed for the train station. Hey! Where is this game store, by the way? It's a local one in the city. I like to go to it. I did that. I like to go to it when I can support them. Also, they have a, they have a puppy there. You're not allergic to dogs, are you? And no, I love them. I always wanted to adopt one. We had one at home, and I miss him so much. Really? Really? That must have happened after I left. <laughs> <laughs> it happened because you left. I was so sad my parents bought me a dog for Christmas. Uh... <gasps> oh. <laughs> What's the dog's name? Hmm. It's a him, and that's not important. It's Haru, isn't it? I get the sense it's Haru. Tell me. No, no, that's that's fine. We, we can uh, tell me. There's really no reason to uh. G. Haru. It is Haru. That's so cute. I can't kneel. Now they're just gonna sit here and blush at each other for a couple of seconds here. Oh, stops here. A anyway, follow me. We took several twisted turns after leaving the station. PPG intent on finding the shop. <laughs> Yawn! It's a bit harder to find when everything's dark. Can we, uh. Can we, like, go over these signs here? Simple scarf shop. Itty bitty kitties. That's an entire apartment building dedicated to itty bitty kitties. Or maybe it's just an ad, I can't tell. What's it say behind? While something, <laughs> uh, super veg. <laughs> All the signs in this game were great. I blew my breath into the air and watched the resulting cloud float away above me. It was cold. Here it is. He gestured to a line of people huddled outside of a store, all wearing thick jackets and mittens. There weren't as many people as I expected, but that made sense. How many people would like a game about living with animals enough to wait outside at midnight for it? We got into line behind a man with a blue-dyed mohawk. It won't be long now. Uh, Hana, are you okay? I looked at him. I looked up at him from where I was dancing on the street. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Why? You look like you need to pee. And I'm. <laughs> he looked at me from head to toe as if seeing me for the first time. Uh, why are you wearing a skirt? It's cold! <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to, um, go home and change. Well, I'm a bit cold too. So maybe we should, uh, huddle together to preserve warmth. I... Plus, I'm wearing a jacket, so, uh... PBG opened his normal Woods Club jacket to be looking away. <laughs> so, uh, you can, uh... I didn't need to be told twice. I walked into the folds of his jacket and hugged him. He wrapped his arms and the end of his jacket around us. 
Thankfully, I was small enough to fit inside of it. Only the tip of my bow fit. Oh, thankfully, I was tiny enough to fit inside it. Only the tip of my bow poked out the top. Oh, she's so short. PBG was a heating pad, and I slowly warmed up and stopped shivering. PBG set his chin on top of my head like a little footrest. <laughs> Can confirm. <laughs> like, I, my girlfriend is very short, and I can confirm this happens. <laughs> Not often, she usually is the one wearing a jacket rather than me, but can confirm that you just, like, set your head on the, on their head. It's great. Just, yep. It works great. He smelled... He smelled like a... Like... Vanilla... And, uh... Cinnamon. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was... Why did I... Why did I make that noise? Why did he smell like vanilla and cinnamon? <laughs> PBG tried to talk to me with one side of my face against his chest and the other against his jacket. I could barely understand it. It sounded like his mouth was full of marshmallows. Actually, hang on, I need to redo that. <laughs> That's better. What? <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> stood there in silence for a while, and then PPG's chin started wiggling on the top of my skull. It felt really good, like he was giving me a massage or something. His beard was tickling me. And then I realized that he was talking to me, and I just couldn't hear him. <laughs> I nuzzled it into his chest, and he stopped talking for a bit. Then he started rubbing my back. What was he saying? Was I supposed to answer? I stared where... Oh, sorry. I stayed where I was, and the seconds ticked away. Tick it away? Did that say tick it away? Tick it away! <laughs> oh! His head lifted off the top of mine, and he opened his jacket to look down at me. The line moved! It looks like we can go in and get our games! Yeah! Inside? Yes, let's go! Wait. Our games? Uh, it must have been a slip of the tongue. PBG approached the register while I examined the games on the shelf, just to the side of it. I had no idea what most of them were, but there were several I was interested in. One had pictures of cows on it, another a group of teenagers like they were lost in a city. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> These were all games for the handheld I had, but when I looked at the price tags I balked. There's no way I can get one anytime soon. Dejected, I went to stand with PBG at the register. Here's your order, Mr. Uh, Butter Gamer. Oh, I pre-ordered too. You, you did? You did? Uh, you did. Yeah, sorry. Here's the other copy. Thanks. PBG paid the man and we left the store with the games in hand. As we went back to the train station, I side-eyed him. <laughs> He knows what he did. You see that? Do you see that smirk? You see that smirk on his face right now? He knows what he did. <laughs> Hana is so salty. Like, she's like, "Why did you buy this for me? You know you're not supposed to buy things." <laughs> now he's just like, "Oh man, I may have miscalculated a bit." <laughs> and now Hana is glaring harder. <laughs> and he's like, "Well." What? Nothing. We made it to the station just as the train was loading and managed to sprint inside just in time. That was close, but at least we're inside. And look, we got the whole carriage to ourselves. He spread his arms out wide and the plastic bag he had rustled. Enjoy all of the space. Oof. He looked at the bag as if surprised. Oh, right! He pulled out one copy of the game and held it out to me. Hang on, I'm gonna, like... Uh... Jeez, I can't check if my stream is running from my phone, can I? I don't think I have enough internet for that. Is it running? Like... <laughs> is... I'm just at an inconvenient... Like, I'm just worried because, like... I had chat interaction at midnight, but not <laughs> 6 o'clock. Oh no, I'm still here. We're good. Alright, good to know. 
He pulled out one copy of the game and held it out to me. What? This? This is for you. I got it for you. Sorry I didn't give it to you back at the store, but I wanted to be sure we didn't miss the train. I can't take this from you. It's way too expensive. Don't worry about it. I got it for you. But I... He pouted. But, it, but if you don't take it, I'll be sad. <laughs> okay. I took the game and looked at the cover. There were small animals on a round green earth with yellows, with yellow letters reading Animal Intersection. Let me just reiterate that Animal Intersection across the top. A little yellow dog and some pink fluffy creature smiled at the different humans on the screen. One moment, I think I actually still have my Animal Crossing. No, it's downstairs in my case. Darn it. <laughs> I don't have it, never mind. Tears filled my eyes. <laughs> my first game. Happy? Am I happy? Oh my gosh. I started jumping up and down right there in the middle of the train compartment. Yay! I got my first game! I got my first game! <laughs> <laughs> Play it after school tomorrow. What? Why? Just trust me about it. This game works with a real time clock, so you'll have more fun that way. I sighed. Okay. PBG grinned at my dismay. Anyway, let's get you to bed. Are you going to join me? PBG walked me to the front of the girls' door. I'm like a true gentleman. When we got to the door, he hesitated. Hey. Hey, Hana. Yes? Do you think, uh... Um... He trailed off, staring at me. I smiled at him. Do I think what? Um... Um... Do you think, uh... uh never mind. It was, it was nothing. It's a dumb idea. Thanks for coming with me tonight. Oh, no problem. He pulled the door open and waved me inside. Milady. Milady. <laughs> Please tell me someone has, like, photoshopped a freaking fedora onto PBG in this screenshot. Because that needs to happen. Hey, Igloo. Get on that. <laughs> Let me just, uh... Pause my face cam for like five seconds so you guys can all get a screenshot. <laughs> and face cam back on. There we go. <laughs> there was someone like shop <laughs> Fedora on the PBG, please. That need I need that in my life. Why thank you. <laughs> I giggled. Seriously, thank you. This means to me this means more to me than you know. I mean it's nothing really. See you later. Good night, PBG. Bye. Right, Hana. What time is it? Jeez, it's already been 18 minutes. When I got back into the room, I was already asleep. I changed quietly and climbed into bed, game in hand. She's going to play it. I couldn't wait to play it tomorrow. Oh. I slipped it underneath my pillow and snuggled into bed. What a wonderful night. Hana. 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 Hana, wake up. You need to look at this. I raised my head groggily from my pillow. Was I? Hardly registering where I was. Mice stood over me. Something like a smile on her face? What? What is it? Oh, so you're going to be late. But look at this first. She handed me a piece of paper written in a familiar scrawl. Another, another note? Seems like it. Read it. Part of my world. Imagine a ball on an evening so swell. I can be Prince Eric, you can be Ariel. We'll dance on the shore where we both fell in love, and saw the moon dancing so far up above. We'll be just like that pair, I promise it, dear. Your hair glistens glowing red off this pier. Such a beautiful sight from this glistening beach. 
do you have the littlest mermaid on Disney DVD? <laughs> when I finished reading, I cast a glance at my. What's wrong? You don't you don't like it? I wish it were different somehow. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. <laughs> <laughs> to my surprise, my burst out laughing. <laughs> what? What is it? <laughs> You're a true main character, Hana. <laughs> oh boy, this is great. You're tense as a brick. <laughs> How would you rather the note was written then, huh? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's too... I mean, it's an awkward note, but it's not the right kind of awkward, you know? Uh-huh. I, I guess I want it to make me feel more like... <gasps> of course, I could never forget you. I usually feel like I'm a joke to people, but when I'm with you, I feel like I'm more than that. Oh, oh Fauna, it's nice to see you right when I wake up. Man, this day's gonna be good. Uh, more like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's so pure. Can we run that again? <laughs> oh, Fauna, dear. Mai was leaning against her desk, doubled over in laughter, hitting it with something more than human strength. Mm. What? What is it? I flicked a tear from her eye, wheezing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sometimes I just want to strangle you, kid. <laughs> Are you ready for class yet? You woke up late. You can't even get breakfast. Oh. My girlfriend has just messaged me. I'll get to her in... Uh, 30 minutes. <laughs> Oh man, we don't even get breakfast and we get to do the cliche toast run. Can we do toast run? It's toast run. Toast run. <laughs> I'm ready. Toast run. That's the name of the stream is toast run. That's that's what it is. I'm writing it down right now. The stream bot is going to be titled toast run. No, I don't want to open that. I want to open my notepad. Toast run! <laughs> oh! Hey! Hashtag toast run! <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Sorry, I had to write that down. Welcome, welcome! <laughs> Haven't seen you in a little while, Griffin. I was unpacking my backpack before class that morning when, to my astonishment, Ian approached me and began a conversation. Hana! Hana, my good friend. Wait, no, this has to be my Sans voice because he's in Comic Sans. <clears throat> Hana, my good friend, how are you? This is not my Sans voice, but it's close enough. Fine. How are you? <laughs> oh, I'm doing well. In fact, my tournament training has been going better this year than ever before. <laughs> now I just have, like, a mental image of, like, Ian, like, bench pressing, like... It's like a bench press bar, and then it has a bunch of games on the side. And then he's like bench pressing, and, and whenever he goes up, like he does a swipe for the, for the freaking game. And he's just like. <laughs> oh, I just got a Snapchat. Who is it from is the question. It's from my daughter. Oh my. I will have to look at that at some point. <laughs> I just landed in the top 20 highest scores for Japan, at number 20, but still. And, uh, how are you doing with your training? Yeah! Fine! I smiled brightly at him, one hand on my treasured phone. Ah. Damn, foiled again. <laughs> this is my new voice for Ian. Oh, yes. This is my voice for Ian, even though it sounds nothing like him. I cocked my head to the side, I'm sure... Hi, Twister. Oh! Wait, no! I know who that is. That is Daughter. Hi! <laughs> I forgot that your username is that. <laughs> it took me a moment. Well, now I have to look at that Snapchat because you've shown up in chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I got wrecked, guys. I got wrecked. I'm such a scrizzity scrub. Hashtag erect. <laughs> I cocked my head to the side, unsure of what exactly he was talking about. You 
Mark my words, Hana Mizuno, I will win this tournament. And when I do, you can bet I'll idly mock you the next time I see you in the cafeteria. He went back to his seat and slumped down with a huff. Luke leaned over to high-five him. Yeah! <laughs> and Ian shot him to look mean enough to kill a pea plant. Grr! <laughs> I smiled, a small feeling of pride blooming in my chest. I shouldn't fiddle with my hair. Still, there were only two weeks left until the tournament. I had to keep up my practice, or Ian would make good on that threat. No matter how silly it seems. <laughs> My hand hovered over the paper, pen in hand. Is she writing? Is she writing a letter to PBG, guys? <laughs> I really hope she's writing a letter to PBG. Speaking of writing letters, don't tell, don't tell my girlfriend. But I'm go, I'm writing a letter for her. Shh, it's a secret. <laughs> How was I supposed to go about this? I never rejected anybody. I wasn't the kind of girl people usually went after. Moreover, this guy, whoever he was, he was being a little creepy. Okay, I've had this exact issue, like, people have come to me and been like, I have a crush on you, and I'm like... I do not have those feel. So, and I have, and 99% of the time, like, I have no idea what I'm doing because I... I'm not a very attractive person, so I don't run into this issue very often. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just less than threeing because because a daughter is is less than three in chat, so I less than three back. <laughs> Moreover, this guy, whoever he was, was being a little <laughs> glacier.exe stopped working. <laughs> yes, that's exactly correct. Glacier.exe stopped working when someone was like, "Hey, I have a crush on you," and I'm like, "Good." I didn't want to say anything that would make him angry, especially considering how many times he'd come to our room, unseen, in the middle of the night. What if he waited for me one night, and when I got up to use the bathroom, he was... there. Ugh. I didn't want to hurt his feelings. After 15 minutes, I finally had a reply I kinda liked. Sir. Wait, no, this has to be in Hana's voice, it's not... It's not a booming authoritative voice, this is not Hana. Sir. Thank you for these notes. They're very sweet. However, I'd prefer it if you no longer sent me anything. Please stop giving me these notes. Best, Hana. <laughs> and now that they, like she puts this on her door and makes the guy would get it. <laughs> I kind of like you, eh? Well, dial noise. <laughs> It was nothing fancy, but hopefully it was good enough. Now, like, she's gonna put this letter on her door, and it's actually gonna be for Mai, and the guy is gonna, like, just be like, I wasn't looking for you. <laughs> and she's gonna be so embarrassed. My dad always said, when saying no, don't give a reason. People tried to argue out of things when you gave reasons. Sometimes even if you didn't. But no means no, and it was much harder to argue with that. True. With a lump in my throat, I placed the note into an envelope, sealed it, and taped it to the front of the door. <sighs> that was that, then. What a weight off my mind. Good! Good. Progress is being made. After everything PBG went through for the team, it was no wonder he could be cheering them on at every game. I stat next, I stat next to him. I became a pile of stats next to him. I am now a giant bar graph. <laughs> I sat next to him, watching his legs tense and twitch as Jeff and Dean sprinted down the field. Ugh. Oh, you should have passed it to... Oh, that worked out way better than I thought it would. <laughs> Go for the goal! You have the... Uh, yes! Yeah! Good job! <laughs> <laughs> I chuckled quietly next to him. Same. It was hard to get worked up about the game when I was with PPG. He took all the enthusiasm I ever could have had for the sport, sucked it right out of me, and then expelled it in a supernova of energy. Whoa! But what it was it was enough for me just to see that he was enjoying himself. For a while, it looked like... Well, that wasn't important. Pargraph DLC costume. Yeah, that'll happen right after the Mai DLC. Er, <laughs> that'll, that'll happen right after the Mai route DLC, don't you know? <laughs> 
He was happy. Or as happy as he could be without playing, anyway. We won! Woo! What? What? It's over already? Hana! Hana, we won! We're going to the finals! We are? I stared at the jumping PPG in front of me for a few seconds before it clicked. Yay! Oh my god, we're going to the finals! <laughs> we're going to the finals! PPG grabbed my hands and we jumped and cheered together with the rest of the Osago students. The two teams shook hands and thanked each other for a good game, and then the strikers piled onto our side of the field, forming a mosh pit of happy athletes. I have to go congratulate them. He disappeared into the crowd immediately. Um, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, this is my Susie voice, so it shouldn't be. I shouldn't be using it for Hana. Uh, excuse me, uh, sorry. I um, I forcefully shoved my way out of the stands, which was harder than it sounded, believe it or not. I hated being so damn short. <laughs> C, just this this line right here is my girlfriend as as a whole. She's like always. She's short, and she always forgets that she's short, I think. <laughs> by the time I came out, PPG was being hugged by all of his teammates. I giggled. Hang on, let's run the giggle again. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm so proud of you all. You nailed it. Yeah! Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to do it without you, bro. Jeff's a surfer now, bro. Bro. Maybe I should give him a moment? And did you see that faint McJones did? I didn't know he had it in him. He usually plays a long-term psychological strategy. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're happy. I was a little worried that after all this time, it'd still be painful to see them playing without you. <sighs> yeah. PBG shoved his hands in his pockets, staring wistfully into the distance as the wind blew through his hair. As happy as I am that we'll be able to go to the finals, it's... Bittersweet to say the best. He flipped his hair dramatically. I guess that's just how the sword falls. I don't think that's a saying. <laughs> it's definitely a saying. If it's not a saying, I'm probably gonna say it now. Like I used to say that's how the dice that's how the dice rolled, but now it's how the sword falls. That's great. I dig it. I shook my head and grabbed PBG's hand. Come on! At this rate, we'll miss the late dinner. Uh. Uh. R right. Oh. What? I shot awake with a jolt, staring at our door from across the room. <laughs> Guys, what if this is Jock? Because Jock were out? <gasps> or what if it's one of the hidden block guys? Hana, did you hear that? I nodded, then realized she couldn't hear me. Something just slammed full force into our bedroom door. We listened for a while, afraid to move. Then we heard footsteps dashing away down the corridor. Uh, my? The bunk bed shifted, and then I saw a dark shape moving down the ladder. My appeared next to me. You're, you're okay, right? Yeah, nobody got in. We're good. She smiled, then turned and glared at the door. The hell? <laughs> I agree, Mai. Who the fuck does this in the middle of the night? She pulled open the door and stepped out into the hallway, craning her neck one way and then another, then turned back to me, her voice low. I don't see anybody here. I don't think anybody else heard it either. I pulled my blankets up around me. Nobody heard it, but Mai and I both did, so there's no way we imagined it. I snuggled down into my blankets. The thin covering made me feel much safer, despite the fact that it did nothing to protect me. <gasps> it was probably just a stupid prank. It's just a prank, bro. <laughs> she moved to shut the door and then stopped. <gasps> oh, God. What? Uh, what? She lifted a hand to the door, peeling something off of it. Um, Look like we has a vi <clears throat> looks like we had a visit from your secret admirer. She shut the door, flicked on the light, and crossed over to me. That's not a good music. <laughs> I mean, it is good music, but th that's not a good sound. Here, she handed me a blank envelope. 
I ripped it open and pulled up a sheet of notebook paper. The same familiar, scratchy handwriting gracing the front. Hana, dearest. Why must you neglect me so? I'm so, so sorry if you've made you uncomfortable, but I can't hide my feelings any longer. This is me reaching out to you in the most direct manner I'm currently capable of. I really care for you, Hana. I won't be so naive as to say I love you, considering you don't know me anything. <clears throat> I won't be so naive as to love you, considering that you don't know anything about me, and how much I haven't had the opportunity to learn about you. But I've been watching you. You're kind, smart, funny, caring. You love your friends deeply and stand up what's for what is for. I love when I just forget the English, it's my favorite. You love your friends deeply and stand up what, for what is right. Stand up for your fears. You even befriended some of the most popular and influential students in school. In fact, you've grown quite close with some of them. And I really don't like it. It's making me jealous. It's driving me insane. I hate seeing you smile at them and yet I can't bother to reveal myself. To try and take their place. I know you're happy with them. You hardly noticed I exist. So I know I can't compare. And yet, it's all I can think about. So I ask you. Won't you please spend a little less time with them? I fear the intensity of my own emotions. I'd never hurt anyone, least of all you, but... I've never cared so much for any one person. Please, Anna. For my sake, have mercy. Love, your admirer. I... My... I... I handed her the note, my hand shaking, and sat in silence as I watched her read it. I agree, Mai. That's, that's kind of my thought process. It's like, uh, I... Um, well, it's a little unsettling, but I, I don't think you should worry about it. You don't think so? Hang on. There's gotta be someone that we, like, met super early on and, like, never talked to. And we know it's not Ian, because... Like, they wouldn't make Ian straight in this game. He's he's not straight IRL, so... <laughs> it's not Ian, we know that. Uh, maybe it's one of the other hidden block guys? I don't know. I mean, that's the only other people that we've, like, had, you know, cursory interactions with. You don't... you don't think so? I shivered and drew the blankets closer around myself. This is a guy, assuming it's a guy, Who's so afraid of revealing himself to you that he apparently won't even talk to you? What do you really think he's gonna do? I don't I, uh, know. I don't know, but it's it's scary. He doesn't seem sane. Do you think I should tell someone? Uh, 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 I don't. I don't know. Asago doesn't have a great track record of dealing with these kinds of situations. What do you mean? Let's just say I, I knew someone who got a little intense about another person. That person told the staff here what was happening. They got almost no response. The crazy behavior was allowed to continue. The students were left to sort it out by themselves. When the student again turned to the staff, talking about how they felt in danger, the staff told them it was the student's responsibility to police their own behavior. That's... that's awful. It's... Not something we want to talk about a lot. Asago's a really nice place. Obviously it is. You know this by now. But they do a lot of things in an effort to save face, so families will keep sending their students someplace as expensive as this. Um, that, unfortunately, includes sweeping a lot of... Uh, shall we say... incidents under the rug. I... Hey, don't worry. Things were much, much worse in the past. Nowadays, they've gotten a lot better. The students here behave more like people. But I am saying that I wouldn't tell the teachers unless there's an actual threat, okay? I don't want you to suddenly get kicked out of the academy because you were trying to cause trouble. And I and like I said, I don't I don't think anything's gonna happen. And if it does, I'll be here to protect you. Mai held up an arm and flexed it. Oh, oh hang on. Flexing? You know what that means. That's an excuse to show off my arms. There's a thing on my shoulder. One second. I gotta get the thing on my shoulder before I go showing off my arms. Okay, thing got. Now it is arm show off time because 
flexing. Full arms! Yeah! <laughs> wait, wait. You got one more. Ooh. Yeah! Arms! Worth it! Yeah! I know it seems like a joke, but volleyball really has made my arms strong. I could definitely take someone out. She grinned brightly at me and I smiled. Thanks, Mai. Anyway, it's late. We should get back to sleep. Yeah. She glanced at the door again and then crossed over and locked it. Can't be too safe. I have to protect my beloved Hana. Hana X Mai confirm. Like, seriously. Especially like in the hidden route, like in the Jacques route, like the first, especially like the second time through the Jacques route, like so much Hana X Mai. <laughs> it's like the only real ship I've considered for this game, like, on my own, like, beyond Hana and PBG. <laughs> PBG, this route is my favorite so far, to be quite honest. <clears throat> As my bed creaked and wiggled with Mai's movements, I tried to convince myself that what she said was true. But try as hard as I could, my mind didn't ease. As strong as Mai was, she was still just a girl. She's just a girl, and I'm just a boy. That's not how the song goes. I was gonna do something else, but I used the wrong lyrics close enough. <laughs> I didn't want to admit it, but men were taller, stronger, faster than women were right now. And we had no idea who this guy was. He was someone as tall as PBG or Luke. Someone who worked out just as much or was also part of a sports team. Even if he was just heavier than Mai, all it would take was pinning her on the floor and she wouldn't be able to defend anyone. My heart started beating faster and I shook my head. There was no point to these thoughts, not at all. Still. I usually tossed and turned before going to bed, but I found myself staring at the door as I tucked myself in, facing it as I closed my eyes. Just go to sleep, Anna. Worry about this tomorrow. I'm scared. I barely slept that night. It seemed like full days passed before Mai woke up and I started getting ready for school. Now that I was back in the classroom, <sighs> between yawning at Miss Shizuka and periods of absolute panic-ridden paranoia and falling asleep at my desk. As I stared ahead of me, my vision sliding in and out of focus. Hey. Hana? <coughs> uh, uh, hi. Oh. Hi, PVG. What brings you here? Guy. School? Hmm. <laughs> Fancy that. Um. Hana, are you... Are you okay? You seem a little... off today. What makes you say that? It's lunchtime and you're still sitting at your desk. Mai gave up and left you behind. <clears throat> what? How could she? So, what's bothering you? I, uh... I didn't want to drag PBG into this, did I? I... I didn't sleep well. He frowned at me and laid a hand on my arm. Hana. Hana. It seems like something is really bothering you. If it's okay, I'd like you to trust me. I want to help you. Will you tell me the truth? Could I tell PG the truth? The note told me to stay away from the normal boots guys and any other guy I was getting close to. If that person was violent, I could be putting PG in danger by telling him. Should I really tell him the truth? Um... Give me a hand here, guys. Yes or no? <laughs> like, like I want to tell PBG, but I don't want to endanger the poor guy like Hana said. Because this guy clearly stated in his like note or whatever that he recognizes his feelings are beyond control, so to speak. So, like... I don't know, like, should I say yes and tell PBG so that, like, we can find out who this guy is? 
or should I say no to keep PBG safe? I mean, PBG's a big guy, and he seems to be in pretty good shape. I don't know. I'll, I'm I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for you guys to see this from stream play. And <laughs> oh man, I don't want I don't want to sit here and wait for for too long because that makes the um what is the word? Oh, I wasn't paying attention, what? <laughs> Oh, thank you, daughter dear. That's incredibly helpful. Um, <laughs> so this guy is stalking Hana, and he has stated that he's like on a on like an edge of violence, so to speak. Say yes, and sh Hana wants to. Should we tell PBG and put him in danger so he can help us, or not put him in danger and try to deal with this by ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you you say yes. That's one vote for yes. I know there's at least one person in the chat. One other person in the chat right now, I think. Let me look at the viewer list. Yes, there's at least one other person. So, <laughs> oh wait for one other person. I have a text message from who? Oh, food is ready. So I'm going to have to <laughs> I think we're going to have to end the stream on this <laughs> on this decision, I think. Okay, uh, I don't know, yes! Let's save the game. <laughs> Let's save the game and then say yes. Oh, Jenny is calling me. Hang on. Don't. I'm streaming, just hang on like five seconds, okay? Okay, yes. We're gonna well, say yes. Well, I... I explained to him what was happening with the notes. How they started, stopped, and how they were getting creepily insistent. PBG's face grew darker as I went on. Finally, I finished with last night's incident and how I was too scared to sleep. Hana. Hana? You should report this. No! No, I... No, that's okay. My already told me that reporting it wouldn't work. And even if she didn't tell me, I had plenty of prior experience at my old school to show that reporting things generally only made it worse. I... I can handle this on my own. You don't need to worry. I smiled brightly at him, but his expression didn't change. I don't want to be a burden on you. If you worry, I'll feel bad. So don't worry, okay? <sighs> Hana. I'm telling you not to worry. I... Ugh, fine, fine. I'll, I'll, uh, ugh, fine, fine, I'll listen to you. But if I do, will you do me a favor, too? It depends on what it is. Do you want to go to the movies tonight? I was going to ask anyways, but this seems like a good way to get your mind off things. Yeah. Oh, uh, sure. Great, I'll pick you up later tonight, then. Hey, yo. Hana, you're alive. Hana, you're alive. Mai entered the room, balancing a tray on either hand. PBG got up and grabbed one from her. Okay, my brother is getting insistent, so we're gonna have to end it on end it on that note. <sighs> Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, this comes up on Saturday, I think. If you missed any of this, and uh, what else is there? Oh, there was a video at noon today. It was uh, Code Lyoko. <laughs> so if you want to watch that, that's a thing. Uh, same time next week, I guess. Uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody, and hey, later, man.